Should you be playing a chipper in your bag? Well, today we've got the Cleveland Smart Soul 4 chipper. I believe the first time you've had a chipper on the channel, we're gonna review it for you. We'll break it down, show you all the technology, do some testing, and we'll show you why a Smart Soul 4 chipper might be a great fit in your bag. Hey golfers, I am Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by a very, very special guest. I have Eddie Dry with me from Cleveland Golf, and today we've got a special product we're talking about too. This is the Smart Soul 4 Chipper. Uh, very unique product. A lot of golfers out there really could benefit from something like this in their bag. And so Eddie is here with us today to discuss those things and why the Smart Soul 4 Chipper can be so helpful. So um, Eddie, first of all, uh, how are you doing? And thanks for joining today. I, I am doing great. I'm in Zeb's Coffee Shop in uh, Euphoria, <laughs> Kansas, and I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like you're doing wonderful. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about this Smart Soul 4 chipper and just from a broad perspective, maybe, you know, looking at maybe the features, the tech, why should this be in so many golfers bags? That's that's funny you ask because that's how I, I start the short game clinic, that part of the, of the chipper. We, we do short game clinics at Cleveland Golf inside and outside. And one of the best sellers is the chipper. Mm -hmm. because not all of us uh, have gone out for the tour or played high school golf or whatever. Um, and, you know, you, you kind of get tired of getting beat by the same people. So to improve, uh, we show them. And if you, if anybody has ever been like, I, I'll give you my own example. I'm not the best golfer in the company. I didn't play anywhere. And so I need to, I need help. So, uh, one day I was like six feet from the green and I, I took my wedge and took my time and I hit it three feet. So I'm three feet from the green and one of my buddies come by and say, Hey, you know what, Eddie, I thought you'd go for the green from there. So he just blasted me. So I, I, I tried to look for ways to get better. And that chipper that you have in your hand, um, helps a lot because what you really do is, is it's 42 degrees. So it's a little bit less than a wedge, but all you do really from eight feet or 80 feet is you take a putter grip and you stand over it similar to a putter and you take a medium size, medium speed stroke and basically put it up to the hole. And you'll, you know, you'll get within four feet, six feet, and that's better than I usually do. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I've done some initial testing in, in myself. We took it out to the golf course a little bit, and you're. I mean, you're absolutely right. It's all about uh, making things simpler for the golfer around the greens, where those really tricky shots can be sometimes. Like you mentioned, I mean, you have six feet to the green, and you catch your traditional wedge just a little bit funny, and it goes three feet. And so that it seems like the design of this club with this kind of unique sole here. They call it the smart sole for a reason. So. The smart sole helps you kind of glide through um, maybe that turf, whether it is the rough or whether it is the fringe maybe, and then essentially just get that ball rolling like a putt as soon as possible. Yes, and, and I tell people at the clinic, I said, you know, it's not a $200 club. We charge 120 men's, right-handed, left-handed, women's. Uh, the women's is graphite, but it's, it's a real wedge. It has real zip grooves, just like our tour wedge. It has uh, field balancing, which actually means we move the center of gravity towards the center of the chipper. So when you hold it up, it's not near the hosel where most wedges are, it's in the center. And uh, it's, a, it's a decent looking one. Um, and if anybody ever laughs because you have a chipper in your bag, uh, they will quit laughing uh, very soon because not only will you save strokes and beat them a little bit, but you can do other things with it. You know, if you're if you're in the woods, I found out if you hit a, a hybrid or a fairway or try to hit a five iron, I, I can't hit a five iron off fairway, let alone in the woods. So they're hard shots. All of a sudden, I start hitting shots out of the wood, low and straight toward the green, and I do it with the chipper. I mean, it's a short club. You can hit it. You can swing it full if you really want to. It's 42 degrees, but it stays low, and it comes flying out. Um, in the short game wow. clinics, we also say, you know, sometimes in, in, in the, on a golf course, you'll get in heavy rough where even good players, the, the club, the wedge or whatever it is you're hitting turns and goes, it's hard to hit. Right. The chipper is the best club for it because it, it's short and the club head's actually one of the most heavy heads in your back. So mm -hmm. it goes right through the grass. And 
and we show them on the clinics because we do some things in the sand. So if you've ever had or ever seen a fried egg, as they call it, but the, the golf ball plugs oh, in yeah. the sand, you know, most people don't know how to get out of there. They leave it in, they hit it over, even good players. Well, the chipper, believe it or not, uh, creates a shot called, uh, on tour, they call it chunk and run. And you actually hit behind the ball with pretty good speed. And it pops the ball up out of that line. Now, it doesn't jump up and spin, but it jumps up, clears the, the lip, and goes in the middle of the green, and all of a sudden, you're a hero. All with the yeah. chipper. Right, and so you're you're outlining the the versatility of a club that I mean it's call, you call it a chipper, but really you can hit a variety of different shots that aren't necessarily chip shots with it. So I think that's a, a kind of a unique thing about about this product from Cleveland. So um, you have your punch shots, you have those chunk and run bunker shots, you have of course the maybe the most common use will still be the chip shots around the green, but um, it's not you know I guess if golfers are worried about taking up a spot in their bag maybe for just a chip shot, well it can actually do these other things. So I guess maybe a, a last question to kind of wrap up while we have you here. I know in our in some of our videos, we usually kind of wrap this up, the entire video with this thing. But I also, since you're here, I want to ask you, you know, is there a, a target type of golfer that you think would best be a fit for the Smart Soul 4? Or do you think, is there maybe a larger range, handicap range of golfers? Or how would you describe the golfer that best should play this club? In, in, in my clinics, I, I tell people, you know, you have a handicap you know what it is. Let's just take an example. You're a, you're a 12 handicap. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about it, you you might be a eight handicap full swing from T to green, but your short game, you're an 18 or a 20. That yeah. is the one that's me. That's who needs this chipper. Shore up your short game with the chipper it can save you three four five strokes it can make you feel a little more comfortable on the course because you're not going to get trapped into a double bogey when you're laying close to the green for example i mean it just it, it that's who it's for man woman mm -hmm. junior doesn't matter think about getting the ball closer to the green closer to the hole and it helps you it stays low and it, you can hit it right i mean that's the that's the whole the point right is getting the ball close and then eventually into the hole and so it really looks like that's what the Smart Soul 4 chipper does. Um, Eddie, thank you for joining here for this uh, segment of the Swing Report video. Uh, I think now we're gonna go do some quick testing on it, but uh, we're very excited and we're, we've been uh, really pleased with what we've heard about the Smart Soul 4 chipper. So thank you for joining and uh, your expertise is really valuable. So appreciate thank it. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it much. Thanks. All right, now it's time for some testing. Taylor is with us here. We have the Smart Soul 4. Uh, First, Taylor, you've got it in your hand. Mm -hmm. um, put that down on the dress and tell me what you see. Yeah. Um, I mean, chippers are definitely a unique club, so it's not gonna be like an iron or a wedge that you typically play, but uh, tell me what you see there. Yeah, down to my eye, I feel like it almost be like I'm chipping with like a nine or a pitching wedge, just kind of the loft on it, just sure. with a little bit bigger back there that you can see. Yeah. Um, but just gonna try to make my putter swing with it. And right. See what yeah, we I mean, get out we, of it. we're going. We got the we got the hole located back mm -hmm. there, but it's it is it's. I mean, it's designed to help you basically just use a putting stroke. Right. And so uh, we'll see how that performs. Again, we are inside, not outside, because if you go outside, there is snow covering all the, the golf courses right now. So we're using what we can here. But is that going to drop? Oh, you're just short. But see, that was. I mean, it looked like you just used a putting stroke there. Yeah, and you got it rolling really easily. I thought it was going to stop a little bit short, so don't need a ton of speed on it. Obviously, yeah. we are on these fast greens, being right. greens that are going to roll out a little more, being inside. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah. it feels feels good off the face. Mm -hmm. um, very solid. Yeah. Does it does it feel? Hit that one a little bit harder. Like. <laughs> Well, that might that might have dropped. So does it feel like? I guess I'll find out in a second. But yeah. does it feel like a wedge? Like if you were to use a, a wedge from your bag, I mean mm -hmm. it wouldn't look the same because there'd be more loft on your wedge. But does it kind of feel that way? Yeah, it kind of feels like that off the face. Um, I wasn't really expecting it to feel like that. I was expecting it to feel a little more putter like off the yeah. face with making that stroke. But it's it's got a nice kind of pop off the face, and you can you can feel that once you hit right. it. So. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, because you can tell with the like the lie angle too. It's mm -hmm. a little bit like set up more as like a putter. Yeah. So you're kind of almost set up like you're in your putting stance and then just kind of swing back and forth. When I had first tried it, I wanted to mm -hmm. get my wedge set up, you know, because I'm chipping. But then you right. look at it and you're like, oh, yeah. you need to get a little bit closer and make that putter stroke. Let's see if we can't make one. I got to give it a chance first. <laughs> oh, going for that hole. <laughs> but you can feel though it does. It does have that nice well, pop that's off. The, that's the nice thing about these. So I think the when we was talking with Eddie and he was mm -hmm. basically saying these these shots around the green, like you're trying to get it close to the hole, and, and a slight miss hit. A lot of times with a traditional wedge for a lot of golfers, a slight miss hit could mean from going from five, six feet away to like 30. And even with all these shots, I'm still and you and I both are sitting with a very makeable little putt, mm -hmm. um, if not a little tap in. So, and now granted, this isn't a golf course. This isn't what it's on, like on real grass, but right. um, can definitely tell the ease of use with this, just simply back and forth, it mm -hmm. pops up in the air and then quickly gets it rolling towards it. I think people who like to hit that little bit lower of a shot, you know, with like yeah. we said earlier, nine or a pitching wedge, yeah. um, those are good options. This one, maybe gonna give you a little bit more consistency because yeah. you know, it's kind of what the club is made for, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great option for around the green for people for sure. who like to keep it low, so. All right, so Taylor, testing complete. This is the Smart Soul 4 chipper from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, overall thoughts on this on this club. Uh, definitely, like we mentioned, kind of a niche product that won't work for maybe every golfer out there, but there's definitely a large segment of players that would could use this and really get some help out of it. Yeah, I think it's a nice option to have in your bag, especially mm -hmm. if you're someone who maybe struggles around the green, not confident with your wedges, or just like to use your eight, nine, or uh, pitching wedge around the green. Um, so we said like the club is kind of more like your nine or pitching wedge. Yeah. Um, I thought all the shots that we hit, well, that I hit, yeah. uh, felt really smooth, really nice off the face, got a nice kind of crisp feeling. And I like that you're able to just make your putting stroke. Yeah. Um, brings a little bit more consistency in rather than hitting your yeah. wedges. And um, you know, they're not always consistent. Right. So I think, you know, we hit on this putting right. green in here, so it's not as um, maybe accurate as outside, yeah. but I think all of ours were pretty close right. to each other and pretty close to the hole. Well, that's the thing, it's super easy to hit solid, and if you slightly mm -hmm. miss it, it's not gonna hurt you really, um, whereas a, a traditional wedge might. And um, the other thing too that in talking with Eddie before, he mentioned it's a great club for, for example, punch outs. Mm -hmm. If you're in the trees, you find yourself in there, and sometimes a lot of people will maybe choke down on a mid iron and just half swing something to get it out. Yeah. He's like, well, this is a shorter club already. You kind of already, you know, set up a little bit differently, kind of like you would for a punch shot. Mm -hmm. Might as well use this, get it out back into play. So another option there. He also mentioned the use of the of this Smart Soul 4 out of like a fried egg bunker lie. Mm -hmm. So that'd be something, a uh, unique advantage for golfers that, you know, you get in the bunker, fried egg, you have to hit really behind the ball just to get it out. But um, other than that, I mean, it, there's the, the chip shots, there's um, the punch out shots. It is a little bit versatile. Yeah. Um, and then of course, our last and final question, who is it for? So the golfers that would best benefit from mm -hmm. a club like this, generally probably talking about players that might struggle with chip shots, right? Right, yeah, I think definitely people who struggle with chipping, um, who like to get the ball on the ground, you know, mm -hmm. it gives a little, like I said earlier, a little bit more consistency. So I think definitely people who like to hit it a little bit lower or maybe just struggle around the greens, this would be a great addition to their bag for. Right, and it's not necessarily handicap based either because mm -hmm. one thing Eddie mentioned, you might be a low handicap player, but your game around the greens is kind of high handicap. So mm -hmm. it's not just about that, it's just really if you feel like you need help with chip shots, right. that's what a club like this is for. And I think that's one thing kind of with a club like this, people think it's, you know, all handicap based, but um, you know, sometimes I struggle around the greens right. and this would be a good club for me to have because yeah. it's just whatever's going to put me closest to the hole in order to make that birdie or par. Right, exactly. Well, golfers, if you're interested in the Smart Soul 4 chipper from Cleveland, you know what to do. You can go to secondswing.com and shop, or you can connect with one of our online master fitters like Taylor. You can connect through the live chat feature on the website with any questions you might have, they'll answer them for you. But ultimately, we will tell you this will make chipping easier for you around the greens and you'll shoot some lower scores. So. Taylor, thanks for your insight today. Really appreciate it. I think uh, the Smart Soul 4 is going to do really well. Yeah, I, I think so too.